Please, sit down. It says here you've served seven years as part of the agent trainee program. Do you feel you're ready to be promoted? Uh, promoted? Uh, yes, sir, absolutely. Uh, I've learned everything about being an assistant. Uh, I, I can honestly say I'm, I'm ready for the next step. Uh, no longer contentious answering phones. Uh, that's the guy's honest truth, no doubt about it. There must be an assistant like me in every agency in Hollywood. I'm the guy who hates his job. Agency time is slow time. You're moving fast, but the time goes really, really slow. It consists of routine, and then more routine. Answering phones. Morons like Saul Folgerin off my fucking phone sheet and Updating the phone sheet. Sending out scripts on the 11 o'clock run. The 3 o'clock run. The 5.30 run. Sending the same 20 scripts to the same 20 director clients again and again and again. Assistants will do most anything to keep their minds occupied. Some guys try to scam unauthorized Academy screeners and absolutely non-transferable invitations to big movie premieres. Others use the company computers to surf the internet for porn. Me? Hello? I use any spare time I can find to make free yeah. long-distance calls. I'd like to call Yugoslavia, please. Randy Tulane came to CMA in 1998 and ended up in the cubicle next to me. He'd been an aspiring writer-director on the outside, spending a couple of semesters in film school before his parents decided it was a waste of money and pulled the plug. Made him get a real job. First couple of months, Randy never said much, mostly because he was working for the biggest asshole in the building. God damn it! What is wrong with you, huh? I told you I wanted the medium-sized conference room for my meeting this afternoon. Yes, sir, buddy. So now I find out I'm in the large conference room. Sir, over 15 people RSVP. The medium room only... Oh, boo, fucking who? That is not your fucking job. If I want 15 people jammed into that medium-sized conference room, there's a goddamn good reason for it. It's part of my negotiating strategy, okay? Do you see those bullhorns? I got those bullhorns when I was running with the bulls in Pamplona, Spain. I killed that bull by myself with a big lighter and a ballpoint pen. Now the same thing is gonna happen to you unless you get me that goddamn medium-sized conference room, all right? And give me some more goddamn water. Yes, I do believe those first few months were the toughest for Randy. But somehow, he made it through. He had a walk and a talk that just wasn't normal around here. He strolled, like a man in the park without a care or worry in the world. Like he had on an invisible coat that would shield him from this place. He's even more nuts than usual this week since he's been trying to get his hands on Shark Tank. Shark Tank? It's his hot new script in the tracking boards. Unknown writer. Studios are supposedly clamoring for it and no one can get their hands on it. Makes life a bit tougher around here. Yeah, well, I'll tell you the truth. I don't understand how you do any of it. Your guy's just an asshole. Plain and simple. Yours is a much better. Where were you before you came here? College. Moved out here to become a screenwriter. Took this job to pay the bills. 
Well, that was seven years ago. Seven years. Now when you say it like that. You wonder where it went. Yeah. What happened to the writing? No time. Not after this job. Coming at seven, leave at nine or ten. Work weekends to catch up on filing. Not to mention covering ten scripts a week. Writing just didn't make much sense in here. No, in here is where it makes the most sense. You need it so you don't forget. Forget? That there are, are places that aren't made up of cubicles or lit by fluorescent lights. That there are jobs out there with bosses that don't throw coffee cups or full water pitchers at your head. Places where the phone rings less than 40 times per minute. What are you talking about? Hope. Hope? Let me tell you something about hope, my friend. Hope is a dangerous thing. Hope will drive an assistant crazy. It's got no place inside an agency. You better get used to that. Let me ask you. You're in the movie business. When was the last time you even saw a movie? Please, sit down. I see by your file you've served eight years in the agent trainee program. You feel you're ready to be promoted? Promoted? Absolutely. Yes, sir. Yeah. I've learned everything about being an assistant. I can honestly say I'm ready for the next step. I'm no longer content just answering phones. It's the God's honest truth. No doubt about it. Tulane, get in here. What's this? You tell me, fuckstick. It came to my email box, but it's addressed to you? Now, is that a job list? Because it looks a lot like a job list. Are you looking for a job behind my back? Uh, no, sir. It's for a friend of mine who just moved into town. Because if you're so monumentally unhappy here, why don't you eat a big old steaming bowl of fuck you and get out right now, huh? How about that, huh? Yes, sir. I... Now, you know, you know what the penalty is for using company email a non-company related business, right? Good, good, good. So we'll keep this between you and me. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down the hall and I'm gonna take a piss, a squirt, a leak, whatever you wanna call it. You're very lucky I don't make you come down there and wipe me. But after I come back, I want that email deleted, okay? Instead of deleting, Randy addressed and forwarded that email to every assistant desk in the building. I have no idea to this day how many jobs were on that list. Truth is, I don't want to know. I tell you there were more jobs on that list than any employee in a great place dares to dream. 
It was as if some beautiful bird flapped into our drab little cage and made these cubicles dissolve away. And, for the briefest of moments, every last assistant at CMA felt free. God damn it, Tulane! Open this door! You were supposed to delete that email, you little shit! I'm gonna dig up your mother's skeleton and fuck it! Now get out here! Open that goddamn door, you little prick! Open it now, you fuck! Randy got fired for that little stunt. You could argue he'd done it to curry favor with the other assistants. Or to get back at his asshole boss. Me? I think he did it to feel normal again. If only for a short while. Do you think you'll ever get promoted here, Fred? Well... <sighs> yeah. I suppose when I'm bitter and burnt out, jacked up on Prozac like every other agent in this place, then I'll finally get promoted. I'll tell you what I'd do instead. I can go out start my own production company. Write and direct my own films. Sure could use a man knows how to write things. Stop it, Randy. Just stop it. Like, don't do that to me. You're talking shitty pipe dreams. There's some guys who make movies, and there are guys who work in here. I'm in here, and that's the way it is. Yeah. That's the way it is. I guess it comes down to a simple choice, really. Get busy living, or get busy faxing. Randy? Do me a favor, Fred. Sure, Randy, anything. After I'm gone, put this in the 3.30 afternoon run for me. What is it? You'll have to send it to find out. It says here you've served nine years in the agent trainee program. You feel you're ready to be promoted? Promoted. Now, let me see. You know, come to think of it, I don't have any idea what that means. Well, it means that you're ready to join the ranks of the rest of us agents. I know what you think it means. To me, it's just a made-up word so that agents like you can sit there and feel superior to us assistants, as though it took half a brain to do your stupid job. Fact is, being an agent is no different than being an assistant. You're still miserable, you're still paranoid, and there's nothing you can do about it. Promote it? It's just a bullshit word. So you just go on and stamp my employee file, Sonny, and stop wasting my time. Because to tell you the truth, I don't give a shit. There's a harsh truth to face. 
No way I'm gonna make it Dog. as an agent. Yeah, Doc. Read your script. All I can think of is ways to get demoted. Oh, so I can get back in my cubicle. Oh, Freaking uh, romantic comedy. And as you know, uh, none of my clients don't do Terrible com, thing so to work in a you job wanna, you can't you know, stand. Crack the spine on it and read the damn thing or get one of your assholes to... All I want is to be where things make sense. Where I won't have to read bad scripts all the time. Only one thing stops me. A promise I made to Randy. Damn it, you little leech prick! In 1999, Randy Tulane escaped from Creative Management Agency by selling his own script with himself attached to direct for half a million oh, dollars. Tulane. Goddamn asshole. He used CMA computers and printers to write it and print it out. CMA studio uh, system to put his script on the tracking boards to hype it to the town. He used CMA letterhead, CMA mailing labels, and most of all, CMA's messenger service. Courtesy of yours truly. Of course, since he was no longer an employee, Randy took his own 10% commission. Oh, shit! Sometimes it makes me sad, though, Randy being gone. I have to remind myself that some birds aren't meant to be caged. Their feathers are just too bright. But still, when they fly away, the place you work is that much more drab and empty that they're gone. I guess I just miss my friend. Delivery for Fred Redding. Oh, that's me. Sound X. Thank you. Enjoy. Dear Fred, and if you're reading this, it means you've been promoted. And if you're as miserable in that job as I know you are, maybe you're willing to make a change. You remember the name of the project, don't you? Shark Tank. I could use a man who knows how to write things. Of course, since you're still technically an agent, I had to give you your 10% for helping me with the messenger service and all. Remember, Fred, writing is a good thing, maybe the best of things, and no good script ever dies. Get busy living, or get busy faxing.
That's goddamn right. I find that I am so excited, I can barely sit still or hold a thought in my head. I also find that I can barely see because I haven't been out in the sun for so long. I hope I can make it to the set. I hope they left me a drive on. I hope movie making is all I dreamed it could be. I hope. <laughs>